Welcome to the new mix. Thanks so much for being here today. We are coming to you live here in Harrison. We have a show right now called The New Mix, and that's what you're watching. Hopefully, uh, you'll be here for the next half hour. We have different things that we like to share, mostly lighthearted, a lot of tongue in cheek stuff. We'll be giving you some videos a little bit later, some interesting uh, content that hopefully you will enjoy. We'll give you a rundown on what will be on our channels tonight, on our specifically our movie channel. We'll give you some events that actually today we're going to be giving you some events that will be happening next week to give you a look into the future of what you can be planning for. And we love history here, so we will be counting down some history items that have been happening throughout our time past up to the present. Uh, we'll be giving you some birthdays, no local birthdays today, but we'll be giving you some, uh, maybe some birthdays that, of uh, people that you may know from times past. But our most important topic of today is how well the weather is doing. We'll be looking at the weather. I guess we're going to be doing that right now. Our most important part of the day is how we feel and we look outside and we see that the weather is very nice out today. We've got a temperature of around almost 60 right now as you look outside our virtual window and we, we are obstructed with that pole there. We're, we like to use uh, the closest webcam to our area. We, we, I'm trying to get uh, more closer webcams and we, we may even set up a webcam of our own which is uh, one of our uh, our goals. We're, we're doing some construction here at our offices here in Harrison. We uh, are located up on uh, a hill here overlooking Harrison and we're putting a tower right up through the middle of our building and uh, we're trying to get a better connection to our uh, mount uh, actually to our uh, uh, mountain our broadcast mountain here in Harrison uh, so we can uh, have a little bit better signal a little more reliable signal, adding some uh, new equipment and, and uh, actually deleting some equipment that we've been using for quite a while. So we're upgrading uh, to uh, bring you better services here. But let's get back to the weather. We've got a webcam over in our Huntsville area at the middle school and it's looking out over the parking lot. And you can see there the horizon there. Nice clear day uh, in the Ozarks with some nice weather. We're going to get up around 70 degrees today and let's look at some of the temperatures in and around the area. Gainesville is 58 sunny, no clouds in sight. Branson, Missouri 59 degrees and sunny. Jasper the same exact uh, forecast for them over there. Marshall's the same thing. They're up to around 61 degrees right of this uh, news broadcast. Eureka Springs around 58 degrees, sunny. 62 over in Mountain View. That's a little south of us. That's our, our tip of our viewing area. We're down there on channel 70.1 at the um, Yelcott cable system. Also uh, Salem, Arkansas, 62 degrees and sunny. Mountain View, our Mountain Home, Arkansas, 58 and Harrison, 59, both sunny temperatures right now out there. Let's take a look at the extended forecast for today, tomorrow, and into the weekend. Highs today, like I said before, probably reach around 70. You know, when, it, when the sun comes out around our area, uh, and they give us a forecast of a certain degree. It's always two or three degrees above that. I, I, I would venture to say that we'll reach into the 70, lower 70s today. Sunny degrees. Now tomorrow, uh, we're going to be having a little extra wind. And to get a better idea of that, gusts are going to be up to 40 to 40 miles per hour tomorrow. So uh, take that into consideration when you're out and about. If you're planning to do some uh, activity on the lakes or, or waterways, uh, make sure you batten down the hatches when you do that. Uh, Friday, we're going to have a chance of uh, rain in 30% uh, chance of precipitation on Friday, and that will probably go into Friday night. But then Saturday is going to be a perfect day out there to probably uh, think about mowing if you have some lawns out there. That's probably what I'm going to be doing, mowing, mowing some of the properties around. And then Sunday, Another chance of precipitation, that will be also a 30% chance, and the highs will be 70. And then Monday and Tuesday, that chance of rain will continue into Monday, and then Tuesday it looks like a pretty fair day. Uh, hopefully they will have a great extended week for next week and our, during our work week. That's it for the weather update. 
Let's take a, uh, another break, and when we come back, we'll be talking about some of the events happening around the area that you can look forward to next week. So let's do that, take a break, and we'll be right back. You're watching The New Mix. We try to keep you up to date with the events uh, happening around the area and we try to uh, tell you what's happening today and tomorrow and that kind of thing. But uh, we, we have some events that uh, I need to kind of let you know about that's happening next week and on into um, May so, uh, so you'll be aware of some of the events uh, so you can plan for those. There, there's going to be a, uh, a land owners and quail hunters management uh, habitat management seminar. This is going to be happening April 15th, which is actually in the middle of next week, Tuesday. This is going to be from 6 to 9 p.m. and this is going to be Arkansas State University over in Mountain Home. They'll be having this at the Dyer Hall. Actually, it's the Dryer Hall in the McMillan Lecture Hall on the second floor. And they're going to be talking about quail biology, quail habitat practices, cost share practices, quail and upland wildlife federation, um, uh, Chief Wildlife Biologist and Conservation Programs Director and Chapter of Development. This will be Nick Progue. He will be talking about all these. This is going to be next Tuesday at, from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Dryer Hall in the McMillan Lecture Hall on the second floor. This will be April 15th, Tuesday from 6 to 9. Check that out if you're interested in that. Um, uh, quail is uh, not, it used to be quite prevalent, but uh, there, there are not as many and they're trying to build that back up. So if you're interested in that, if you're a landowner, how you can bring that fowl back to the area, uh, attend that. That's going to be uh, April the 15th, Tuesday from 6 to 9 at ASUMH. Also, uh, May 16th, 17th, and 18th, they have an art odyssey, a celebration of art in the Ozarks. Uh, the art odyssey, a self-guided tour of artists, studios in the area. This will be uh, May 16th, 17th, and 18th. I have, think I have more information on that uh, somewhere else. I know may drop that because I'm repeating it. Uh, but they're announcing to call for artists for the 2014 tour, which will take place May 16th, 17th, and 18th. Artists will be selected through a jury process and must have a working studio in order to be uh, considered for this. And what people do is they, they uh, uh, choose a day and, and have your studio open where people can come to view your studio. Uh, this will be for Mountain Home, Arkansas, including Baxter and Marion counties, and uh, you're encouraged to apply. Interested artists should com uh, complete the application and submit it with your photos of three current works of art that you have. Photos must be works of art not previously submitted for jury. They must uh, be in a digital format only and will not be returned. Uh, selected artists will be announced on February, actually February the 8th, which is already over with. I don't know what this is all about. Applications can be mailed and delivered to the Chamber, Mountain Home Chamber of Commerce at 1023 Highway 62 East, P.O. Box 488 in Mountain Home, Arkansas, 72654. Or you can go to the art, theartodyssey.com for more information on that. And they have their April 19th, Will that be next week? They're having a tween spring event at the Donald W. Reynolds Library. Fourth, fifth, and sixth graders are invited to a special tween spring event at there at the library, Saturday, April 19th, from 2 to 3 p.m. Participants will make fun Easter treats and crafts, including a fruit skewer, appetizer, an edible bunny car, an Easter basket, cookies, and bunny peep wreath. For more information, you can go to BaxLib.org for more information, or you can call Kim Crochaner there at the Donald W. Reynolds Library in Mountain Home at 870-580-0979. And at the Shed, April 22nd next week, they're having the Fantastics. This is a romantic musical and timeless love performed by the Nebraska Theater Caravan. Tickets are $35.00 for adults, $17.50 plus fees for students, 18 and under. You can order the tickets online at theshed.com, that's S-H-E-I-D.com, or you can give them a call at 870-508-6280 for 
more information on that. April 28th, having a free lunch and learn program on bladder and bowel control. This will be the North Arkansas Regional Medical Center's Gold Club is hosting this free lunch event. And you can learn about that uh, topic Monday, April the 28th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Duran Center, North Arkansas College. Speaker will be Dr. Chris Taylor. Lunch will be served free of charge at 11 a.m. and the program will follow. Contact Christy Hawkins, Public Relations Marketing Director at the hospital at 870-414-4000 for more information. And th this is more about on that art odyssey. I apologize. I knew I had two of those. I'm going to throw that one over there. We'll do that one maybe later. Then the second annual Argyll Extravaganza. This will be Saturday, the April the 19th at 3 p.m. at the Amazing Grace Youth Ranch. There will be an Easter egg hunt, a petting zoo, and presentation in the round pen. For more information, you can call 870-416-2071. And then finally, we have April the 24th. They're having a library to host a screen of Trashed. And we talked about this uh, earlier. And Melinda Caldwell, founder and owner of Via Recyclables, will be the moderator, moderator of this event. Is, uh, this film is a documentary, and it is a provocative investigation of the garbage industry and what your society defines truly as what waste is. The film looks at the effects of waste and has uh, and, and its effects on our already strained natural resources and why so much uh, of it is produced and why it's important to learn more about what you can do as a, a patron to help with the trash. Trash investigates who is affected most by the nearly five pounds of waste each American produces on a daily basis. Five pounds of waste, wow, that's quite a bit. Um, the public is invited to this free screening with these, uh, there'll be a question and answer session to follow this um, film and also refreshments will be served. And this is gonna be at the uh, Boone County Library on April 24th at 5.30 and this will probably, probably go past seven o'clock. So if you're interested in, in helping the world with cutting down on trash, this is the event for you. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll be doing history. So stay with us. You're watching The Noon Mix. Welcome back to The New Mix. This is our history segment. We love history here, and we want to let you know about what has been happening on this date, April the 9th, at different times during the past. And we'll start off with 1682. April 9th, 1682, Robert LaSalle claimed the lower Mississippi River and all the lands that touched it for the country of France. 1833, Peterborough, New Hampshire, opened the first municipality support, supported public library in the United States on this day, and I would imagine that is tied to National Library Week, which is happening this Sunday for libraries all across the country. 1865, at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia, General Robert E. Lee surrendered his Confederate army to Union General Ulysses S. Grant in the parlor of Wilmer. McLean's home, Grant allowed rebel forces to keep their sidearms and permitted soldiers to keep their horses and their mules. Through, though, they, though there were still Confederate armies in the field, the war was officially over. The four years fight of fighting had killed 360,000 Union troops and 260,000 Confederate troops. That was on this day, April 9th in 1865. 1866, the Civil War, excuse me, the Civil Rights Bill passed over United States President Andrew Johnson's veto. 1872, S.R. Percy received a patent for dried milk. In 1913, the Brooklyn Dodgers Ebbets Field was opened. And in 1914, in, Union, in London, 
the first color film, The World, The Flesh, and The Devil, was shown. First color film, 1914. 1945, National Football League officials decreed that it was mandatory for football players to wear socks in all league games. Wear those socks. 1959, NASA announced the selection of America's first seven astronauts. And in 1967, the first Boeing 737 was rolled out for use. I've been in one of those. 1983, the Space Shuttle Challenger completed its first official flight on this day in 1983. And what happened in this day in history on television? We love television. So in 1974, Janet Jackson, at the age of seven, appeared for the very first time on the television show, The Jacksons, The Jacksons. 1986, it was announced that Patrick Duffy's character on the TV show Dallas would be returning after being killed off in the previous season. Those tricky writers, they know how to write a plot and keep it going for, for eons on end. Birthdays. Let's go to birthdays on this day, April 9th. Who had a birthday? Well, we're going to find out who had a birthday. Ward Bond, for many of those people of my age and elderly. He was born on this day in 1903. He was in the movie It's a Wonderful Life, The Maltese Falcon, and also in the TV hit series Wagon Train. He was the, he was the trail boss. Hugh Hefner was born on this day in 1926. He was the publisher, of course, of that famous Playboy magazine. Carl Perkins, singer, was born on this day in 1932. And Michael Leonard, the actress from that TV hit series, The Waltons and My, All My Sons. And Dennis Quaid was born on this day in 1954. He was an actor in Wyatt Earp, The Right Stuff, and many other famous movies. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll be talking to you about what's happening on our channel on our 26.3 digital channel and our MGM movies. We'll stay uh, with us for this one. You'll be want to know about what's happening tonight right after this. What is happening on our channels tonight? Well, you know, as we uh, talk about this quite a bit, we have four channels. We have uh, Cozy Television, which is that's the uh, network that you're watching right now. It's on our uh, lineup of cable stations all over our viewing area. It's uh, our 26.1 digital channel if you're watching this over the air. Uh, 26.2 is our antenna television. It uh, offers 24 hours a day of classic television, as most of all of our channels are. 26.3 is our movie channel. It is the This television network and it is the MGM collection of all of their library favorites movies uh, going back from the original MGM uh, selection of movies and we have movies all the way up to uh, actually we had a 2013 or 2013 movie here not too long ago 2013 and then our fourth channel 26.4 is our MTV me uh, uh, TV MTV what am I talking about me TV network and it has classic television also. But on our 26.3 is what we like to focus on to give you a better idea of what you can watch uh, during prime time tonight. If there's nothing else to watch, a lot of people watch our movies here. And tonight we're going to start off with a movie that we featured here earlier. It's called Suspect Zero, and it stars Aaron Eckert, Ben Kingsley, and Carrie Ann Moss. And it's a suspense thriller. If you like those, and that it coming on tonight at 7 p.m., up next at 9 p.m., this is a movie where Sally Field makes her first film debut from our TV series as Gidget and the Flying Nun. She jumps over to films in this movie. It's a, her film debut as a sumptuous epic tale of the brave men and women who left the comfort of the East for the promise of a free land in the untamed West. Also stars Kurt Douglas, Robert Mitchum, and Richard Whitmark. And just for history's sake, this might be a, a good movie to just watch. It was produced, let me see, what, what year it was produced in? I don't have that here, I'm sorry. Probably in the late 60s is when this was produced. And to get these stars together, 
uh, probably will get, be an excellent movie to watch. And watching Sally Field with her debut into films. You can watch that. Then at 11, this is one of my favorite actor, actors. James Coburn will star tonight at 11 o'clock in the movie Honkers. And James Coburn plays an aging, philandering rodeo cowboy who returns to his hometown. He must do battle not only in the rodeo arena, but with his desire and for personal independence and his con contradictory desire to win the respect of his wife and sons. And he is an older guy. They're trying to get back in the saddle doing rodeo stuff. And that stars James Coburn tonight at 11 o'clock. Also stars Slim Pickens. Ann Archer, Richard Anderson, and Jim Davis. Those will be playing tonight at 11. And then, let's see, let, let, me, let me do this, do that, and we've got three minutes remaining in the program. I want to show you this. This, um, uh, As we know, uh, the typical iron steel worker that uh, is depicted in many films and uh, stereotypical of workers in an area likes to uh, whistle at the passing beautiful woman. Well, this is, takes a little bit different turn on that, and it's a little comedy video, it's a couple of minutes long. Let's watch that, and I may be back to, uh, to close out the show, but this is quite interesting. This is our video of the day. Take a look. Have yourself a lovely day. Oi! That color really works on you. Have a productive day. You want to hear a filthy word? Gender bias. Absolutely. Yes. yes. I know, huh? Yes. I'd like to show you the respect you deserve. Yeah. Well said. A woman's place is wherever she chooses. I appreciate yeah. your appearance is just one aspect of who you are. You know what I'd like to see? A society in which the objectification of women makes way for gender-neutral interactions, free from assumptions and expectations. Right. You go, girl. Oh, yeah. What do we want? Equality. Equality. What don't we want? Misogyny. What do we want? Equality. What don't we want? Misogyny. And uh, people down down under take a little different look at things than we do so we hope you have a productive day i'm dan reynolds and this is our wind edition wednesday edition of the noon mix and we hope to see you here again tomorrow uh, with some great weather news i'm hoping and some more great interesting things to uh, talk about here and to show you from our perspective here on the noon mix we hope you have a great day we'll see you again tomorrow have a great day